superstar Dolph Ziggler. AJ South. What is going on guys? For the live back with another video and today we have the Royal Rumble 2021 setup slash results slash reactions video here on the Bredo Live YouTube ch channel. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, like this video, also comment down below what you guys thought about the Royal Rumble. I'm about to tell you guys what I thought about it right now. I thought it wasn't that bad. Some pretty cool moments. Pretty interesting winners. Um, so we're going to get into that right now. Starting over here, it was on the kickoff show. It was Nia Jax versus Shayna Baszler. No, it wasn't Nia Jax. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It was Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler versus Charlotte and Asuka for the Women's Tag Team Championships. And I actually predicted Charlotte and Asuka to win this. I'm like, okay, they're probably going to retain. No, I forgot about Lacey Evans and Ric Flair. They distracted Charlotte again, man. Literally, that's all they keep doing. They distracted Charlotte again in order for uh, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler to pick up the victory and retain their titles. Not retain. Well, pick them back up, you know? Get them back. I was like, dang, okay, Nia and Shayna. Getting them back. I mean, I'm totally fine with that. I like them as a tag team. But other than the match, I thought the match was just okay. Pretty good way to start off on the kickoff show. Look, uh, moving over here, it was the last man standing match with Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens, of course, for the Universal Championship. This was a pretty freaking hellacious match. Literally, they fought all over the place, and which was pretty cool. I thought this was so awesome. Um... They showed you guys where the Thunderdome was, and then they showed you the actual arena because Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens kept on fighting backstage, but the backstage was like the entire arena. You guys would know what I'm saying if you guys saw it, but it was like literally so cool, and they covet Kevin Owens jumped off a forklift, threw two tables, threw Roman Reigns, and then Roman Reigns sent Owens off the stage again. I was like, this is so awesome, all the way up until the ending. Um, Roman Reigns got handcuffed to a piece of scaffolding up at the stage, and he had to beat the 10 count, but he was forced to stay on the mat because of the handcuffs. But I'm like, oh my gosh, the referee is standing so close to Roman Reigns. The referee is about to count to 10. Reigns grabs the referee and throws him into the LEDs. I'm like, oh my gosh, of course. Of course. Always something with Roman Reigns, man. And then Paul Heyman, I swear, took like hours to get Roman Reigns out of those handcuffs. It literally, it took him such a long time to get the key in those handcuffs. I'm like, oh my gosh, how is the ref not on 10 yet? Because they sent out a new referee. But then right after that, Reigns got out of that, he hit the guillotine on Kevin Owens and then passed him out. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, you know. And I'm like, oh, that was a little disappointing the way that they ended that. Obviously, I knew Roman Reigns was going to win, but they could have ended it a little better than that. I didn't. Not like the ending to that whatsoever, but still amazing match. Not gonna lie. Moving over here, Goldberg, Drew McIntyre, opening match to the show. This was just okay. I wasn't really expecting too much from it. Um, but yeah, Goldberg, Drew McIntyre. Basically, it was just Claymore, Claymore, Spear, Spear, Jackhammer, Spear, Claymore, Claymore. Boom, it's over. So, yeah, that, that's basically how the match went. No joke. Uh, and then Drew McIntyre retained his title. He hit the Claymore, uh, I think it was three times, maybe, could be wrong. Um, and then he won the match. Retain his Universal Championship, and then Goldberg's like, you passed the test. I'm like, what? And then he raised his hand, showing a little respect, and Drew McIntyre looks like he's going to be going into WrestleMania as the WWE Champion, which is pretty freaking cool. Uh, yeah, not bad. I mean, it was, an, it was it was okay. I wasn't really too fond of the match, again, but the moment was pretty decent. Not bad. Moving over here, Sasha Banks, Carmella, yet again here for the SmackDown Live, uh, or SmackDown Women's Championship. Not a bad match whatsoever. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, the Somalier Reginald actually ended up finally getting kicked out by the referee. I'm like, referee, freaking do something. Finally, he did. He kicked him out because Reginald kept on getting involved, but, uh, it didn't help, uh, it didn't help Carmella too much because in the end, Sasha Banks just locked in the the bank statement and then tapped out Carmella and she lost. So Shasha Banks retains her title yet again. And I got to hand it to both of these two. They had a pretty good match. I really enjoyed it. Not going to lie. I thought it was pretty good. And the bank statement to top it all off really sealed the deal. Thought it was pretty cool. Moving in here to the men. Well, we'll start off with the women's. The women's Royal Rumble. Yes, this wasn't a half bad Royal Rumble whatsoever. Thought it was pretty freaking cool. And some pretty cool returns. Uh, pretty cool superstars out there. And one in particular, Bianca Belair was out there. She came in at number three and uh, she had a pretty good performance. I ain't gonna lie. It was pretty freaking good. Uh, the final three of the match was Rhea Ripley, Charlotte and Bianca Belair and then Bianca Belair actually ended up winning the match just like I said in the prediction video so she is going to be heading to Roman uh heading to WrestleMania uh to either face the Raw Women's Champion or the SmackDown Women's Champion will she see who she 
chooses. Um, but yeah, that wasn't half bad at all. I'm glad that Bianca Belair got the victory. Somebody knew. I'm like, they better not give it to Charlotte again, or either give it to Rhea Ripley, but just not Charlotte, please. Um, but yeah, they gave it to Bianca Belair. Super hyped about that. Men's Royal Rumble. This was so freaking unpredictable. Oh my gosh. I don't, I'm not sure if anybody else chose Edge, but Edge won. Edge freaking won the Royal Rumble. Oh, we had, well, let's talk about the Rumble really quick. We had returns like Carlito. Pretty whack return, honestly. I, I was so happy to see him. I'm like, ooh, Carlito, spin the face of people who don't want to be cool. Look at it cool. I mean, if you're, if you're looking for somebody who's cool, you're looking at Carlito, man. But yeah, it was cool to see him, uh, Carlito back. Uh, and then also another return, Seth Rollins, the Monday Night Messiah. Sadly, he is the Monday Night Messiah still. I thought he was going to return with the Burn It Down theme, but no. No Brock Lesnar like I thought. Uh, you also had Kane return as the Demon Kane. Thought that was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I might be re uh, I might be forgetting a couple missed returns. Um, but yeah, in the end, Edge ended up winning the match. Final three was Seth Rollins. Edge and Randy Orton. Randy Orton was actually hiding backstage with a fake injury and he was going to sneak up on Edge right after Edge eliminated Seth Rollins, but it didn't work out too well because Edge ended up eliminating Randy Orton. And I thought Randy Orton was going to win his third Royal Rumble, man. I'm like, oh my God, Randy Orton's going to do it. He hit the RKO on Edge and he tried to throw him over the top, but it didn't work out. Edge ended up throwing him over the top rope. So I'm like, dang, this is freaking nuts um, that Edge just won. I can't believe it. Who is Edge going to face though? Roman Reigns or Drew McIntyre? Like, what? Like, that's just so confusing to me. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to see what they do. They definitely have something planned. But, yeah, I gotta say, not half bad Royal Rumbles this year. I thought they were pretty decent. Let me know what you guys thought about them down in the comments down below. But that was the entire... Shane, you... I can't believe Shannon just fell. But, yes, guys, that was the entire Royal Rumble pay-per-view in this setup video here on Brett Live. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to smash a like. Again, let me know what you guys thought about the Royal Rumble, the winners, everything about the Royal Rumble down in the comments down below. I thought it was I thought it was an okay show. In the end, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Just a decent amount of the matches I just thought were a little just disappointing. No changes. Um, um, but obviously some changes with the tag titles. Um, but yeah, the winners of the Royal Rumble is not bad, I gotta admit, not bad. Um, but yeah, I want to see what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments below. See you guys next time. Bread Alive, out.